Hey everybody, this is Mr. Danzel, and um, we're going to be working on a project called The Kitchen Table. Um, the files that you need are going to be found in the business drive. In fact, there's a folder there called Kitchen Table. You open that up. We're going to start with PS4-1. Uh, that'll be the first file that we're going to use. And I've got it right here. Of course, we need to, the first thing we need to do is go to File, Save As. And we're going to save this in our H drive. Um, my H drive isn't appearing right now. Um, I'm actually going to just put it into my Google Drive, but you need to put it into your H drive. So find that place where you want to save it. And again, we're going to call it Kitchen Table right there. And click OK if that comes up. OK. Um, we also want to make sure that our essentials workspace is reset. So we'll go to Window, Workspace, make sure Essentials is checked. And then we want to reset Essentials and may make some changes over here. Um, if Learn or Libraries comes up, I'm going to get rid of those because we don't need them. So now we have more room to work. Uh, next, we're going to um, we're going to go back into here. We're going to open 4-2. OK, it looks like that. We're going to get the uh, rectangular marquee right here. And we're going to select this thing about like that. And grab our Move tool. We're going to take it up to the kitchen table. And you can drop it anywhere on the kitchen table. Okay, make sure we still have the move tool here. Um, if these guides aren't visible, you may need to go to view and show and guides, but mine are already checked, so we're good to go. Um, we're going to drag the coffee cup down here, and if you use these guides correctly, it kind of snaps itself to the guides, which is kind of cool. Um, so we want the coffee cup to be down there in the lower part. And we're going to rename this layer cup. Okay. Um, then we need to go to window and go down to 4-2. Okay. You could have also just clicked here. Um, notice it's still selected. We're actually going to go to select and deselect. Okay. Then we're going to go and we're going to open 4-3. Um, we're going to use the zoom tool over here, and we're going to zoom in a little bit. Um, we want to get it to about 200%. I think that's about where we're at now. My recording doesn't really show that. And we're going to get the magnetic lasso tool right here. Magnetic lasso tool to um, select the tomato. And some of you have used this before, but um, you can click to uh, change direction if you need to. You don't have to. Usually it attaches itself pretty good. If you ever screw up, you can actually go backwards uh, by pressing the backspace key. But we're, we're doing OK here. And you want to go back to your original fastening point. You might get a little circle there uh, next to the lasso tool. You click. Now we're selected. We're going to use the Move tool. And we're going to drag it onto the kitchen table, just like that, and let go. I'm going to drag the tomato right over here. Now, um, we actually want it to be behind the coffee cup, so we may have to um, rearrange a little bit. So I'm going to drag the coffee cup up. And let's go ahead and name this layer tomato, of course. And then we're going to save it. You can either go to File, Save, or you can press Control S. And our work is saved. OK, we're going to go to Window, go back to 4-2. Uh, we're going to close that. We're also going to close 4-3 as well. If it asks you to save, you do not have to save it. And next we're going to open this 4-4 file. 
and we're going to get the elliptical marquee right here. Um, on the options bar, we're going to make sure that new selection is right here. And we're going to um, we're going to drag and get something about like this, okay? And then you can actually um, you can move this around if you need to. Now uh, I didn't do a great job here, but we're going to do something that um, that will get the rest of it hopefully. So um, after you have that selected, we're going to go to select. And uh, I was looking for, there it is, select and similar. Okay, and then it actually got the rest of this bowl here. Uh, we could also maybe go to select, modify, and expand. Um, we're going to expand by one, so then click OK. It actually makes it just a little bit bigger, okay? Um, then we need the, okay, so we should have our um, casserole dish here selected. We're just going to take the move tool, we're going to drag it over, put it next to the napkins, okay? To get the this dish into onto the kitchen table, we're going to do something called defringing. So we're going to go to layer, matting and defringe by one pixel. So it's got this white um, selection around the outside. Sometimes that will take that away. So we click OK. Mm, took it away a little bit. You know what? I'm going to try another one. So let's, uh, let's try two. Didn't really do much either, but that's OK. We're just going to leave it like that. Um, rename the new layer casserole. This is a casserole dish. Uh, save it. I'm just going to press Control S, and then we're going to click on 44, and we're going to close it. And no, you don't need to save. So we're going to open up 4-5 again. That's in here, and we're going to go to Select and Color Range. This is a little different way to um, select something. So we're going to click on Image first of all. We want to make sure Invert is check. We want to make sure that's zero. And then we're going to click anywhere in the white area. It's in this white background. So just click right there and click OK. And notice it has selected just this teapot. Okay. Grab your move tool and drag it in. Drop it about right there. That looks good. We're going to rename this layer teapot. And we're going to defringe the teapot. Notice there's a little white outline around it. So we can go to layer, matting, defringe. We're going to do it by two pixels. Click OK. And notice that that white line is gone. Save your work. Uh, go back to 4 or 5. You can close it and no need to save it. OK. Then we're going to open 4-6. OK. We got a knife here. Uh, we're going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to get the magic wand tool. Magic wand tool. Um, we want, so to make sure that's selected, we want a point sample. We want the tolerance to be 50. Okay. And then those two should be selected. Okay. Then we're going to click anywhere on the knife blade. Click the blade. Notice it didn't quite select all of it, and that's okay. But now we need the quick selection tool. Um, you need to make the brush size a little bit smaller. Let's go to 20 pixels. Okay, make it a little bit smaller. And then we're going to try to get the rest of the knife. So I know that didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, but we're going to try to just get this handle here. Um, if you do get 
anything you don't want, you might be able to hold down on Alt and try to get rid of uh, some of that. Okay, and that's not quite perfect, but that's not too bad. Get the Move tool. We're going to drag it up to the kitchen table. And we're going to drop it right there. Um, but we're going to rotate it a little bit. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Vertical. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, I'm going to drag it right over here. Of course, we're going to rename this layer Knife. And let's defringe the knife by one pixel. Click OK. And then we can open this up, close it, and save our work. Control S. We're going to go, um, there's actually a hole right here, some type of imperfection we're going to try to fix. So we're going to go back to the table layer. Make sure you're on the table layer. Uh, you might want to zoom in a little bit. Um, I just did a fit to screen. And we're going to use something called the healing brush. Okay, the healing brush tool is right here. And we need to change the settings a little bit. So we're going to go 25 there. Uh, the mode is normal. We want it to be sampled, and we should be good to go. Okay, so we're going to hold down the Alt key. Okay, you notice um, that it changed from this circle to something else, and we're going to sample the wood right next to that. So I just simply click. Okay, so I've sampled the wood, let go of the Alt key, and then if we click on the stain right there, it actually heals it. Okay, so that is the healing brush tool. Okay, I can zoom back out to 100% and then save your work. One last thing, we want to make sure that the table layer is selected. We're going to click the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, we want to change the feather setting to 20 pixels. And we're going to create, we're going to select um, an area about like that. Okay, so leave a little, little bit of an edge around the outside. Okay. Um, we're going to go to Layer, Layer Mask, and then Reveal Selection. Reveal Selection. And this is called a vignette. It's something that you might put around the outside of uh, something you're creating in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to go to View. We'll check off of rulers to get rid of them. We're going to go to View. And Show Guides. We're going to get rid of them. Save your work. And you are done.